Hey everyone, my name is Dennis and I hope you're doing wonderful. So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you a recipe for this kind of like laid back, chill and refreshing berry milk that I love to make on the weekends especially, but kind of like also when I want just something very quick, but also fairly healthy and, or actually very healthy depending on how you look at it, <laughs> and um, just very nice to have. And I actually already do have a recipe video on my channel. It's from years ago, it's a buckwheat porridge, and um, that video has actually been doing very well. So I thought, why not share some more recipes with you and I'm by no means a recipe creator I just do whatever kind of like comes to my mind and I just experiment with different things and some things turn out really good and that's the things that I want to share with you so yeah just um, I hope you enjoy this video and let's get right into it so I usually start out by adding berries to my blender and it's in this case frozen blueberries because I just happen to like blueberries the most because they don't really have detectable seeds that you feel in your mouth. And of course you can use any type of berries you like, be raspberries, strawberries, fresh, frozen, whatever you like. And I don't really measure this, I just cover up the base with berries, but of course, again, you can use as much or as little berries as you like. I would recommend using a blender, of course it doesn't necessarily have to be a high speed blender, it can be a lower powered blender, um, it doesn't really matter, it just depends on what you're adding next, but we're going to get to that in just a minute. And um, you can also use, I'm sure, an immersion blender, maybe even a food processor. Just be careful because usually what happens when you add a lot of liquid and blend it in your food processor, it tends to come out where the lid closes. So just be mindful of that. The next ingredient I add is my plant-based milk. And here I'm using oat milk because it's my go-to around the house. But of course you could use any type of plant-based milk that you enjoy. And yes, if you're not vegan, you can use regular milk. I'm not gonna bite your head off because of that. This recipe is for everyone. And as far as kind of like in terms of how much you should use, you can use a smaller glass, you can use a cup, you can use a jar, whatever it is. Just make sure it's only three-fourths of that size. And I'm gonna tell you why that is important later, but just leave some room up to the top. The third and final ingredient that I'm using today, and you might have already seen it standing right next to my blender, is nut butter. More specifically, hazelnut butter. And if you've not tried it before, what are you waiting for? It is so freaking delicious. And I would recommend using one teaspoon and trying that out, but as you can see, I'm already adding a second one because I love it so much. And yeah, you can just play around with it. However much you like is fine. It really doesn't matter. And at this point, I wanna mention that of course you can add kind of like flax seeds or chia seeds or whatever you wanna eat with it or have in it and it really doesn't matter so go ahead and add seeds or other nut butters or whatever it is that you like it really doesn't matter it's very exchangeable and that actually also goes for any kind of spices that you want to add you could use cinnamon you can use any kind of superfood blend that you like using like i already said it's exchangeable it's very personal it's individual whatever it is then just pop your lid up and go And yeah, once I'm done blending, I just take the same cup that I used to measure my oat milk, then I'll give my blender a good swirl to kind of like incorporate the foam better into the liquid again, and then it's time to pour. And look at that beautiful color and that smoothness. Doesn't it look so delicious? And right there you can see that it fits perfectly. And this is exactly why I told you to leave space up to the top so that everything fits perfectly in kind of like this one cup thing. Now it's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy the refreshing berry milk. Have yourself a nice, wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Thank you so much for watching. Drop anything you want to add in the comments below, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.